Hi guys, welcome to another Cousin Chazzy video. Today I'll be talking about iOS 6, which should be released quite soon. Just before I start, please tell us what you think of our new intro that you just watched in the comments below that I designed on Final Cut Pro. So this is just going to be a really quick video going over just the main features that are most likely to be included in iOS 6 and of course some of the things that I want to see. So the first thing that I'm going to be talking about um, has been talked about a lot online recently um, on sites like Gizmodo, Apple Insider and tons more is um, 3D Maps and Apple trying to get rid of Google Maps altogether. Apple have been uh, buying into a uh, mapping company since 2009 when they bought Playspace, a mapping company. And then in 2010 they bought Poly9, which is also another mapping company. In 2011 they bought C3 Technologies, a Sweden-based 3D mapping company. So I'm thinking that they're going to release a 3D map. In April 2012, Apple created a job and opportunity for 3D experts asking for a computer vision specialist who's experienced in multi-view stereo and 3D reconstruction. So the most likely date for Apple to release iOS 6 is in WWDC um, 2012, which is in July. Uh, I think it's July the 11th to July 15th. And um, that's the most likely date for Apple to release iOS 6 and anything else. Um, maybe new technology or updates to maybe the iPod or iMac. MacBook Pro, MacBook Air, um, probably not the iPhone 4 s yet, probably maybe in 2013 or uh, just at the end of 2012 maybe. Other likely things to come out in WWDC 2012 and with the iOS 6 are Siri to the new iPad, uh, video pause options during recording on the camera, a camera timer to take photos, a group call in FaceTime, and pictures in notes. Something that I and I know quite a lot of other Apple users really want is flash support. It'll be a great opportunity for Apple and it'll of course boost sales of iDevices and it'll be a great thing to have on your iPhone that um, really should have come out earlier. Um, something that's been released uh, quite recently on the jailbroken, jailbroken uh, new iPad is some commands in the notes that you can scroll across the screen and um, be able to get um, select text instead of having to um, scroll over and click over it in to, um, to select it all. So as you can see on the video now, that shows you a demonstration. So thanks for watching, please comment, rate and subscribe. Goodbye.